We can think of a matrix as being made up of row vectors or column vectors. Here's the definition of those terms from Howard Anton's linear algebra text. Just as you would expect, in an m by n matrix, the vectors in Rn formed by the rows of the matrix are called the row vectors. Remember, if the matrix has n columns, then each row will have n entries, which is why the row vectors are in Rn. On the other hand, each column would have m entries, the number of rows, so the columns of the matrix make up the column vectors, and those are in Rm. The definition then is exactly as you would expect. Here's a quick example. Here's a matrix A. It is 3 by 2, so each row consists of two entries, and each column consists of three entries. Here are the row vectors of A, R1, this first row, R2, the vector for this second row, and R3, the vector for the third row. Similarly, we could list out the column vectors. Here's C1, the first column, and C2, the vector for the second column. Perhaps the most important part of row vectors and column vectors are these things, the row space and the column space, which we'll talk about next time. The subspace of R2, spanned by the row vectors of this matrix A, is denoted row of A and it's called the row space of A. Again, this is specific to this matrix A. That's why this is a subspace of R2, because A has two columns, so each row has two entries. And again, the subspace of R2 spanned by these row vectors, that's what we call the row space of the matrix. Similarly, the subspace of R3 that's spanned by the column vectors of our matrix A is denoted call of A, and it's called the column space of A, as you would expect. These are both very important subspaces. Link in the description to my lessons going over them in depth. For this lesson, let's do one more example. Here's a 2 by 3 matrix B. What are the row vectors and the column vectors of B? I'm going to paste the answers on screen now. There is the row vectors, R1, made from the first row, and R2, made from the second row. And then here are our column vectors, C1, made from column 1, C2, from column 2, and C3, the vector from column 3. In this case, since each row has three entries, the row space is a subspace of R3. And the column space is a subspace of R2, since each column has two entries. So that's what row vectors and column vectors are, and a bit about why they're important. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if you find these linear algebra lessons helpful, please consider supporting Wrath of Math on Patreon. Link in the description, it's a huge help. Thanks for watching. I'm a secular anesthetic for